I bet YouTube what's going on this boy now it's already back on our video so y'all could tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video I'm gonna be teaching y'all well I'm gonna giving y'all some advice on how to start a YouTube channel so if you're wondering why I'm actually making this video it's because I realize a lot of y'all do be asking me questions like YouTube related like y'all be like <laughs> So in this video, I'm just gonna be giving y'all a couple starter tips, you know what I'm saying? And quick disclaimer, bro, I don't know everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still a rookie of this YouTube shit for as long as I've been doing it. I can still consider myself a rookie, you know what I'm saying? But I can't say the information I'm gonna be telling y'all this video definitely helped me. Like, like y'all know, I gained a thousand subscribers in less than a year, so I feel like I kind of know a little something, you know what I'm saying? Hey, go ahead, call me here, that boy. Oh, here, that boy, oh, dirt, that boy, stink, that boy, afro, here, that but yeah, that's pretty much what this video is gonna be about. So I got a couple um, topics or advice, I should say, written down in my notes. So we gonna get started with the first one right now. Uh, so I know in the last clip I did actually say that I had some topics. I'm gonna say this, this kind of like questions I would say people would have first starting YouTube. So for the first question I will be answering is when to start. So my advice for starting YouTube, you should start as soon as possible. Now when I say as soon as possible, I mean as soon as possible. Like for example, like me, I started this channel. It's not my first channel. I started this channel last summer because I wanted to wrap up school first. So that's what I mean by as soon as possible. As soon as you see like a time frame where like you're gonna have a lot of free time to actually like put work into your channel, then that's when you should start. Y'all don't wanna procrastinate it because it's a lot of people I realize like, for example, like I know people in real life that be coming up to me, they be like, bro, I'm about to start my YouTube channel. I'm about to start too, da, 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 I'm gonna get to uploading. But I ain't seen nothing but a link posted on their story. If YouTube is something y'all actually want to take seriously, something I want to pursue, start as soon as possible. Especially if you in high school watching this video because you don't want to waste your time because, like, think, let's say you're a freshman, right? You're a freshman in high school, you're thinking about starting YouTube, da 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 da, but you don't start until you, but you don't start. I can't fucking talk. But then you decide not to start until you're a senior. My nigga, you just wasted like four years. You wasted all your high school when, in high school, obviously, you got more free time than when you get into the real world. And YouTube's something you want to pursue, my nigga. You don't want to go to college then. You should have started way sooner, you know what I'm saying, bro? So, like, I really say start um, as soon as possible, y'all, because a lot of people procrastinate it like heavy. And a lot of people, they don't want to start. People are like, oh, I'm going to start after high school. But like, I feel like it's better to get on your grind early, bro. Because I feel like a lot of y'all watching this too, y'all probably thinking this too. I don't want people in my school to see the videos. My nigga, it's going to happen regardless, bro. It's people in my school to know my videos. It's crazy because when I made this channel, I ain't send the link to nobody, nothing. Only like two of my like close homies at the time. That was it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people just go, they just going to naturally find out, bro. And, like, to be honest, people really not going to give a fuck. Niggas do not give a fuck. I promise you, bro. Most of the time, people that actually be, do watch your shit, like, people be showing mad love. So, nobody really gives a fuck at your school, for real. I'm not going to lie, bro. But, um, yeah, just start as soon as possible. Y'all want to procrastinate it. All right, so next, y'all probably wondering how often should you upload. So now, uploading, a lot of people, this is really cliche to say, a lot of people are just going to say upload consistent. You watching this video, you definitely heard that term, upload consistent. Yes, consistency is good, but I feel like people don't really explain it. Like, from my experience, I would say be consistent, but quality over quantity at the same time. For example, let's say this, like, you could upload four videos a week, but these videos aren't really high quality. You kind of just throwing out anything out there, but you can upload one video a week that's better quality than all four of the videos. You should go with the one video a week because quality over quantity at the end of the day. But I will say try to work your way up. Let's say you upload one quality video a week, right? Try to push up to two quality videos and three quality videos. It's better than just uploading seven videos a week, which, yeah, that may look good, my nigga, but the videos ain't really quality, bro. People ain't gonna really fuck with it, bro. So quality over quantity and work your way up to being consistent with quality video. Bro, you can only upload a quality video every two weeks, nigga. Do that. I'd rather have you do that and work your way up, like I was saying before, than just put out bullshit now some of us want to talk to y'all about uploading is youtube shorts now youtube shorts i want y'all to be careful with shorts because shorts can actually kill your channel now if you wonder how youtube shorts can actually kill your channel is because let's say for example like all right i've seen people do this literally like i'm not even just making this shit up i'm telling y'all bro they can kill your channel so i've seen this one channel right so they main channel videos they was you know what i'm saying they was getting views that was good for their sub count then they started spamming shorts now a lot of people the reason why people start spamming shorts is because it's like tiktok you know what i'm saying it's easy to get followers subscribers on youtube is pretty much followers so on shorts um they were doing it just to get subscribers so then when they stopped doing it they noticed their main channel videos was down like down bad because the reason for that is because the youtube algorithm is going to think you're, you want to be a shorts channel so they're like all right we're going to keep pushing out his shorts then we try to do a main channel video they're going they're not going to push it out bro because you just spam it shorts now me saying that is um i'm not saying don't do shorts at all me Y'all probably see I've done like a couple shorts. I'm trying to get more on it because shorts can be very beneficial if you are using them correctly. But just be careful with YouTube shorts, y'all. Don't go too crazy with it because 
unless y'all do want to be a short channel but you trying to do main channel videos like myself then don't go too crazy with the shorts but shorts specifically use them to promote your main channel videos as well don't just be uploading whatever on shorts so let's say um you would channel like you, you do car content right yo shorts or whatever well i wouldn't see why you wouldn't do car content on shorts because it probably goes crazy but y'all get what I'm saying, bro. Let's say you do car videos, right? Da, da, da. On your shorts, don't be just doing bullshit. Like, you posting clips of fucking NBA memes and all that. Like, it's not related to your main channel videos because I see people do that. Like, you go to their shorts, it's so different from the main channel videos because they do the shorts to get subscribers. But I'm telling y'all, bro, subscribers on YouTube, yes, they matter. But, like, get subscribers off of main channel videos, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but, um, yeah, that kind of was all over the place. But y'all kind of get what I'm saying, bro. Just... Be careful with YouTube shorts and quality over quantity when it comes to uploading. All right, so next, I'm going to talk to y'all boys about equipment. So when it comes to equipment for YouTube, I'm going to tell y'all right now, bro, this phone, the phone right now, nigga, whatever phone you want, you want an 11, you got an iPhone 9 for some reason, bro, no matter what phone you want, bro. That phone right now, you watching this video on, that's all you need to start YouTube. Y'all see this phone right here? I ran up a 1,000 subscribers and got monetized in less than a year with this phone right here, bro. I'm not lying. Hey, you don't believe me? You new to the channel, bro? Do your homework on me, bro. You can go back on all my videos, bro. I just using my phone and the webcam, bro. I just recently bought a camera on the last video before this. Now, when me saying that is, y'all, like, I'm not saying, let's say, for example, like, you have a PC like me. When I started this channel, I already had a PC because of my last channel, so I was using my PC. By all means, y'all, utilize everything you have. Of course, like, having a PC, a phone, um, I mean, I'm talking about a phone. I'm obviously a phone, nigga. A PC, a MacBook, um, a camera, da da da, whatever, a mic, like all that definitely is gonna help you starting off, but you don't necessarily need that to start YouTube. I feel like that's why a lot of people do kind of was talking earlier, they procrastinate starting YouTube because they're like, oh, I need to wait till I buy a camera, I gotta wait till I get a MacBook, bro. You don't gotta wait for all that. Start now, my nigga, like start now, I'm telling you, bro. But y'all don't know how many creators y'all watch that actually just use their phone and CapCut. Like, CapCut is so slept on as an editor. Like, my advice would be if you're watching this and all you have is your phone and you wanna start YouTube, bro, just start right now. Like, dead ass, like, just use your phone, use CapCut. You wondering um for thumbnails you can use pix art it's so many um it's so much like y'all just gotta do your research bro for real like my nigga like y'all see i got a camera i got a little decent setup going on now but like I, it was not like this before bro like y'all just gotta make shit work like if you really want this youtube shit bro this shit your passion then you gonna find a way i promise y'all bro y'all just gotta do your research bro find out what works on the phone now if you are starting on the phone my advice would be is wait until you hit at least your first a thousand subscribers before investing into a camera now the reason why i am actually telling you that is because i feel like by then you kind of know already if youtube is something you do want to pursue seriously and actually like you actually fuck with it type shit so yeah wait before you at least get a thousand subscribers before investing into a camera all right so next i want to talk to y'all kind of just on some advice with youtube itself so be genuine with youtube now being genuine that's obviously y'all know that means just being yourself on the camera and all that but another thing too be genuine bro don't be out here buying subscribers because a lot of y'all niggas be thinking you can cheat the system my nigga this youtube shit take time and hours of grinding but you got to put in the work like that ass like i've seen people too bro people they went up they bought like 2,000 subscribers. YouTube took it all away like within a week, bro. So, hey, if you want to buy subscribers, try to buy views, blah, 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 pay your way to the top. By all means, go ahead and try if you don't believe me, bro. But I promise you, YouTube is not the type of platform. Like, I feel like the reason why a lot of people be thinking like that is because y'all so used to TikTok, bro. Like, TikTok is a platform that's so much easier to grow on YouTube. Like, bro, I've had so many TikTok accounts that, like, had so much numbers, bro. But YouTube's not like that, you know what I'm telling you, bro. Like, to put it into perspective a little bit more, bro, getting 100 views on YouTube is like getting 1,000 views on TikTok. I feel like that's the difference. Like, y'all know how TikTok is. But, yeah, don't try to buy subscribers, buy views. It's not even worth your time, bro. You can't pay your way to the top. If it's not your time, it's not your time. You just got to stay down and wait your turn, my boy. Now, also, on being genuine, bro, it's okay to um, be inspired by other YouTubers by all means, but don't try to completely copy someone word for word because what always works for somebody else is not going to work for you. Now, me saying that, I'm not saying, like, don't hop on certain videos. Video trends and stuff like y'all know how the youtube algorithm works like certain video topics obviously are going to get pushed out more than others but i'm saying like the way somebody talks in their videos like, you know what i'm saying the way their video flow do not completely copy them bro just be yourself because one why would people come watch you when you basically like they can go watch the better version of yourself like you know what i'm saying like you the inferior version to that nigga so just be yourself don't try to copy the way somebody talk none of that because at the end of the day it's called youtube bro it's about you my nigga so be yourself i'm gonna talk to y'all about thumbnails now if y'all don't know what a thumbnail is th a thumbnail is the picture you see before clicking on a youtube video so the reason why that is important is because for example like let's say this let's say you make a banger video like the quality is amazing like just everything in the video the video you know what i'm saying it's a good video and you just put a black picture for the um for the thumbnail you really think people are gonna click on that bro think of it yourself like how many times have you clicked on a youtube video that has just a black picture my nigga 
exactly that's what i'm saying so but like, think of it all the videos you click on like it's because you see the thumbnail that was attractive so obviously when y'all do first start i'm not saying your thumbnail is going to be the best by all means i feel like my thumbnails are still not the best but if y'all scroll through my videos they definitely have improved since i first started on youtube i make my own thumbnails personally i use photoshop if y'all is wondering y'all can use photoshop um, if you're on phone you can use pixar it's a lot of apps out there but if you feel like you can't really learn yourself then you always could go on instagram and find a designer i see a lot of good designers they be charging about seven to fifteen now if anyone's charging you more than fifteen dollars for a thumbnail i don't know what type of thumbnail they making shit they better be having a nigga looking handsome or something you know what i'm saying on a thumbnail or some shit but adding in facial features because my nigga you should not be charging more than 15 for a thumbnail but that's kind of off topic but yeah if anyone charging over 15 i would say it's not really worth it but hey do you it's your money you know what i'm saying that's just my advice i'm just a nigga in a youtube video I would honestly say just try to make your own because like it's really it's not hard for real. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like my thumbnails are decent they get the job done I'm gonna keep getting better you know what I'm saying but yeah I would say try to learn yourself but if not then just pay someone else to make your thumbnails all right y'all so for the last topic but not least I want to talk to y'all about haters a little bit so when you're doing YouTube y'all might experience hate sometimes throughout the journey it's normal bro it happens to everybody but I want to let y'all know right now bro if somebody hating on you that means you're doing everything right a hater could be a random person it could be even someone you know sometimes bro but if somebody is hating on you you're doing everything right bro just keep going people saying oh i don't fuck with your content da 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 whatever bro do not give a fuck i promise y'all y'all know how many people there is in the world it's billions and billions of people in the world my nigga i don't care if you make videos recording frogs leaping around outside bro my nigga somebody is gonna be out there that's gonna fuck with the video and they're gonna subscribe and they're gonna like that motherfucker and they're gonna support you you know what i'm saying so it's too many people in the world eventually you're gonna reach your target audience like not everybody gonna fuck with your content you know what i'm saying because not everybody the target audience and some people they just want to hate just to hate because they're not doing nothing with their life type shit when you're trying to pursue something greater on a life bro haters is something that's bound to come so just who really cares about motherfuckers hating bro like how i really view this this how i think bro like it's billions of opinions in the world i just don't give a fuck about your opinion type shit so haters is bound to come but just keep grinding bro and friends that do not support you i'm gonna let y'all know right now them is not your friends because if somebody really do fuck with you at the end of the day they're gonna support you no matter what you're doing so anybody that's saying they're your friend but you see they hating and they not supporting bro just cut them off in silence you don't even gotta address the situation because not everybody gonna understand why you actually do what you do at the end of the day so it's really no point in even addressing it and strangers that you never met in real life will show more love than your own people's nine times out of ten and sad truth is just how the game works but don't let none of that get to your head don't let nobody hating get to your head remember that this is your platform and this is the platform that you want to build this is your vision and your vision not meant for everybody else to understand at the end of the day because god only gave it to you for a reason it's not meant for everybody else it's not meant for nobody but you that's why god only gave it to you so just keep grinding keep going and you're gonna make it But it's gonna end it today's video, man. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Let me know how y'all was feeling about the video down in the comments down below. If y'all new or if you have returned to subscriber and you find this video useful, just go ahead and drop a like. If you're new, subscribe and join the family, man, because you know what I'm saying? Your boy be dropping bangers out here, bro. But um, yeah, this was a little different video. I was thinking, just give y'all some YouTube advice. I actually did enjoy making this video. So if y'all do want a part two, let me know right now down in the comments and show appreciation by you know what I'm saying? Just, just drop a like, bro. Show a little appreciation, um, a little appreciation to your boy type shit. But that's all I'm saying for this video, man. Shorty Squad the gang. Shorty Squad on top. Y'all made to end this video, bro. Comment Shorty Squad on top, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas know y'all my people's type shit. Fuck with y'all boys for real. But that's all I'm saying for this video, man. Y'all stay tuned for more content. It's your boy Noah Shorty. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. I want you say these niggas chain. I would just say these niggas want really. They would have had a nigga thing. One day I'm going to run away with my gut feeling. Then take it to the bank. One day I'm going to run away with my dream. Bitch, then take it to the paint. Life ain't getting no more easy. I'm just trying to get.